Hey guys, AK47 Master here, back with another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Season 2. And on this episode, we are going to be heading to Superior City because now we have our HM Slave Bellsprout to use Cut to cut down this tiny tree. Just to think of it, that the next main city that we would be heading to would be blocked off by a, a small tree. Anyways, here we are in Pewter City. And there's plenty to do here besides the actual gym itself. One of the things, first of all, what I'm going to do is gonna get my Jinx from my PC since I had to put it in there so that I could get my HM slave on my party. So let me just pick up my Jinx, put it back on my team. And uh, I'm not sure how much use Jinx will be in the actual Peter City gym, but uh, I digress. Anyways, starting off, we have Jigglypuff here in the Peter City uh, Pokemon Center, just like in the classic Gen 1 games. In this game, it doesn't sing or anything like it did back then in the 8-bit games, which was pretty cool, pretty nostalgic to hear 8-bit Jigglypuff song. Anyways, going on to the first house here, we have an old man, oh my gosh. I used to enjoy snoozing with the radio on, it's broken and it's being fixed now. It's too quiet to fall asleep. Wow, I don't think I've ever heard that type of complaint before. Especially from an old geezer, it's too quiet to go to sleep. You're like 70,000 years old. <laughs> Can you really handle that much a noise, bro? Alright, anyways. There's a little flower field right there, really nice, really nice. This guy is of importance, actually. Ah, you came all the way out here from Johto. That brings back memories. When I was young, I went to Johto to train. You remind me so much of what I was like an, as a young man. Here, I want you to have this item I found in Johto. And he just gives you the rainbow wing, just, just casually hands you over the one item we need to fight the other legendary of this game. The alternate legendary from Lugia, Ho-Oh. Alright, and Nidoran shakes hands. No, someone make a hashtag of that. Nidoran shakes hands. <laughs> Whenever you say that, just think of AK47 Master. Nidoran shakes hands. Wow. Alright. And here's the museum. This time we don't have to pay a child's fee. We don't have to pay anything, actually. Uh, this lady just stands there for her own health, I guess, because she really serves no purpose. And look, Cameron the Photographer is in the museum. Pretty sweet. And he'll actually take our picture inside of the museum. If you come on uh, Fridays, he'll take your picture in front of the museum. On Saturdays, he'll take it inside. And who would go inside of a museum on Saturdays anyway? That's pretty lame. <laughs> well, I guess I'm in here, so yeah. And of course, there's even more old people in the museum. Because those are the only type of people that go to the museums. And nerds, I guess. <laughs> we would love to display them here in our museum. But these memories are said to admit strange energy and cannot be carried away. Ooh. Alright, uh, is there any other parts to the museum? Let's talk to this guy. Did you know that you can extract Pokemon from fossils? Oh, I'm guessing this guy will, uh, he's the fossil scientist. He'll turn your, uh, fossils that you may have into actual ancient Pokemon, which consists of Ammonite, uh, Kabuto, and the Hoenn League, uh, ancient Pokemon, which I can't remember the names of, so yeah, <laughs> those are the two, two main ones that I always remember. Because one of those Pokemon evolved into Kabutops, which is one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 1. And here we have the Peter City Gym. Jumping right in, we have, I believe, two or three trainers here, not that much, so let's jump right into it. Yeah, guys, I'm glad that you've been enjoying the uh, Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver uh, walkthrough videos or Let's Play videos or whatever. Uh, I really enjoy making them, and I will continue to make them until we defeat the Kanto League and become the all overlord, overreigning Pokemon Master of Pokemon Soul Silver. And there we have a low hit ride on. Already took it out, but it has high defense, so just watch, watch out for that. Physical defense in particular, its special defense is laughably bad, so yeah. <laughs> Next we have a hiker here. Crash! That, that would be my that would be my battle cry if I was a hiker, I guess. <laughs> he also has another one just one Pokemon and it's like Golem, also at level fifty. Alright. Uh, again, I'm just gonna surf. I just wanna go right through these trainers so I can get straight to Brock. That's the main challenge of this gym, really. And he doesn't have just one Pokemon or two Pokemon. He has a total of five, I believe. So on the same level of, like, an Elite Four member. All right. I didn't get to read what that hiker said afterwards. I think he said, like, 
I don't know, body or something. Whatever. He didn't say body. He said body. He probably screamed it at the top of his lungs anyways. <laughs> anyway, let's start off with Skyla here. Bit of a strange way to start up the battle, but I mean, it is a part steel type. Wait, wow, it's not often that we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the Peter, Peter Gym Leader. I'm an expert on rock type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to most physical attacks. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on! Alright, one of my favorite Pokemon gym leaders. It's Brock. The original gym leader from the original games. And starting off with the Graveler, level 51. Alright, so starting off the battle here, I'm gonna use Spikes. Just because all of his all of Brock's Pokemon are non of the flying type, so spikes will affect them. Pretty nice. And I'll just, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do two spikes, I guess. I wish I had poison spikes, that would even be better. But I just have regular spikes, but it's fine. And why is he using rock slide? He should be using something like stone edge. Something much more damaging. I don't know. Alright, so I'm gonna start using steel wing, which I don't expect to do that much damage, because Graveler is pretty high in physical defense. And as I expected, it didn't do all that much. Alright, another rock slide. Alright, this will probably take it out, and yes it does, critical hit, as if I needed it. Alright, there we go, hopefully it could level up. Oh, just, just almost did it, almost made it. Alright, next he's gonna send out Rhydon. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna send out a rock type of my own. Put Bertha out there. There it is, Rhyhorn. Oh, Rhyhorn. I thought it, I thought it was Rhydon. My bad. All right, Rhyhorn level 51. Still very defensive, like its uh, successor Rhydon. So just be careful out there with those physical attacks. Uh, Earthquake should do a lot though, as of course Bertha has high physical attack, which conflicts pretty well with high physical defense. Anyways. All right, there we go. Very nice. Very nice. Next, Almost Star. Hmm. There's obviously one Pokemon I have that I really should throw out there, and that is Chi Chi. As Omastar is part water and rock, so grass type moves would be four times effective. And I don't remember if Brock also has a uh, Kabutops. I'm not sure, possibly, since he has an Omastar. Omastar is a pretty cool Pokemon as well. I really, I used it a couple of times in Leaf Green. Definitely worth trying out. All right, there we go. Not a challenge at all. If he has a Kabutops, I'll probably switch out to a uh, different Pokemon. Besides Chi Chi. And no Pixonix. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one. Alright, uh you know what? Switch to Jinx. It's just a lot of random random team member out there. Hopefully he won't get crushed too fast, because Jinx's defense is not that great. I believe Onyx is also his main, is actually his main Pokemon in, uh, for this battle, as it was in Gen 1. As it does appear to be his strongest teammate. And there we go, took it out. Pretty nice. Alright. Get a, a decent amount of experience, and yes, he does have a good blue top. I did not know that. I just found that out right now. <laughs> it's been a while since I battled Brock in uh, this these games. All right, let's just send out Chi Chi there and Kabutops, level 51, his final Pokemon. And just to be, just to extend the battle out one turn, so it doesn't seem like I'm completely destroying Brock, I will use Solar Bead, as it does need a charge up before attacking. And it's not as uh, powerful as whoa! I actually might, <laughs> I actually might die here. But whatever. If I faint again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rage. I'm gonna rage. I swear. If I faint, if I flinch, all right, good, good. I didn't flinch. <laughs> but I'm probably going to get taken out here. Well, I was hoping Rock Slide would miss, but oh well. Guess that's it for Chi Chi. <laughs> I did want to extend this battle out a bit more anyway, so... um, Oh gosh, I'm pretty... Actually, no, I could use Bertha. And use Earthquake, I forgot about that. So I was thinking of using... I was thinking, like, what if I use... Wait, I can use an Electric-type move. Because Rock isn't, 
It's like normal damage against rock, but whatever, I'm already gonna use Earthquake anyways. And I didn't know that Giga Drain, what the heck, it's not a grass type. It's water rock, how does that make any sense? Nintendo, no no, Game Freak. Alright, how much would that do? Uh, decent amount, decent amount. I'm probably gonna use a full restore here. <laughs> ow, 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 you just come out to say that. <laughs> Making the, the sound effect of being hurt for your Kabutops. <laughs> uh, as far as I'm concerned, like, we did not place a hand on you, Brock. You're perfectly fine. <laughs> Don't know why you're acting hurt. <clears throat> Brock actually looks pretty badass, like taking the knee and his sprite and stuff. I don't know, I really like that. And I was using all of his four stores at the very end of the battle. The part where it counts the most. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep on using Earthquake. Screw it. <laughs> Not really much else I could do here, because he's probably going to take me out with another Giga Drain if he uses it. And... can we get a crit? No. It did a bit more damage though than last time. And he's just... oh my... Well, how many four stores do you have? <laughs> this battle actually went on for quite a lot... a lot... quite a bit longer than I expected, just because he's spamming four stores. But I mean, if I was hitting his same position, I'd probably do the same thing anyway, so I can't complain. Can't complain. And, alright, there we go. He ended off with a water jet. Good fight, good fight. But, it's not over yet. Alright, enough fooling around. Let's just send out Chi Chi and end this battle already. And it's faster than me? What? Kabutops is faster than me. It's a little strange. It's a bit odd for a, uh, a rock type. I don't know. And wow, flinching screws me over again for the second time this battle. How long is this going on for? Wow, it's already like 12 minutes. It has royally screwed me over this entire battle. Not this entire battle, up till the end. And what endure? <laughs> this Kabutops is a trooper. It really is. It is a freaking trooper. Man. Wow, is he just gonna spam? All right, no, he's not gonna spam. At least he's not gonna spam endure. That would be, that would be un, that would be horrible. No, no. All right, fine. I won't use a healing item. <laughs> I'll just go on to my next one. Wow, this guy is actually really lucky. He's lasted this long. This is actually a little frightening. Um, <laughs> all I have left is uh, Jinx and uh. Less than half HP filled, uh, Skarmory. And finally, finally it missed so I could land out the, the uh, Ice Punch. Not that very effective, but it still took it out. Alright. Looks like you're the stronger one. Wow, that actually was legitimately a challenging battle. The fact that I didn't use healing items. Your Pokemon's powerful attacks overcame my rock hard resistance. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. And we got the Boulder Badge. Chronologically, this would be the first badge we will be receiving if we were playing Red and Blue. I really enjoy the battle with you, AK-47. I'll give you the move Rock Slide, too. It can sometimes cause your foe to flinch. And yes, <laughs> we've seen that displayed very well in the battle. So there we go, TM80, the world is huge. There are still many strong trainers like you. Just wait and see. I'm going to become a lot stronger, too. Alright. So that's it. We got our third badge, and... That's it for me, guys. I'm AK47 Master, and I'm signing out, and our freaking mom is calling us. See you guys then.